Well, catching snapper in deeper water, we're in 42 metres at the moment. So there's a few key things that you need to know so you can be successful out here. The first is you need enough weight to get yourself down the bottom of the seat relatively quickly. So what I use is the Catch Jolly Roger deep water system. And here it is. This has a specifically shaped luminous sinker on the front, like a boat bow, so it swims through the water without tumbling and rotating. It also has blue glitter on it, because blue, this specific colour blue, is used as communication between bait schools. So Snapper can see this in the water, down there where it's dark, from a long way away. Looks interesting, a bit of a strange thing happening with the, the blue communication, so I'll come over and investigate it. Now when the Snapper get near, what you want them to do is to grab hold of your catch soft plastic. And that's why we've designed these in a very specific way, and I'll show you. Because these Catch Jolly Roger systems have this coil. Now that coil, you screw into your soft plastic. This is the uh, glowing gecko, and we designed this to have a lot of moving, flapping, swimming parts, as well as a luminous body. Again, you're down in deep water here today, so you need attraction from further out, so that when this drops down, not only is there vibration through the water, and that won't come off because of the coil, make sure it's just roughly put through the body so it's nice and straight. So when that goes down through the water, there's a vibration, a sound, and also the sight. So the fish, hopefully the snapper will come over, investigate that, see this flapping bit of tasty looking food, and take a good old bite at it. So that's the key. The Catch jo Jolly Roger deep water. You've got a coil to hold your soft plastic on nice and firmly. You've got a very sharp seven bar O hook. You've got a luminous head, which is shaped specifically for diving and retrieving with blue glitter on it. That's all there is to it. Now we get it down to the bottom of the sea. This is a three ounce, no, this is a two ounce because we want to get it down there where the snapper are. There's no point in using really light weight here because we're too deep, you'll never get to the bottom in time. So let's drop it down and see if we can catch a fish. Now here's a little tip. For when it's slow, there's not much happening, or you know, or you think you know, there's fish down there. Do a slow retrieve. All you're doing is nice and slow like this. I'll show you how slow. All you're doing is a wind like that. Oh, oh. A little touch. Just a nice slow wind like that, so you're pulling that lure away from the snapper and they'll chase it and grab at it. Motion and action is the absolute key to catching fish out here. And when you're in the deep water, you use your deep water rig, two or three ounce, get it down to the bottom and then just do that nice slow retrieve. Well there you go, a nice Haraki Golf Penny and you can see there in the corner of the mouth on the catch Jolly Roger deep water rig with a glowing gecko. Nice penny, here go several pounds and it'll be very tasty tonight. So there you go, deep water rigs, get it down to the bottom, get it down in there with a whole heap of flapping bits, especially the glowing gecko or the glow squid or even the bleeding pilchard. Catch some of these, see you out here.